you guys, it's time for an e-bike ride. Before I get heading south, there's uh, two places I really want to go with the e-bike. One here is my old home, my original home, here in Vancouver, Washington, where I grew up from zero to about four or five years old. And I just want to go back and see it, and I thought it'd be a great idea to take the e-bike, and that was, in fact, I'm gonna go right down the road that I originally learned how to ride a bike on. Uh, a bike without training wheels anyway. I remember riding my, I have very young memories. I have a lot of memories of this place and it's, uh, I drive by every once in a while, but I thought it'd be a good, good idea to go with the e-bike and um, just drive up the roads I used to ride around on. And uh, go check out the neighborhood. I don't think it's changed very much. It's a pretty, pretty established neighborhood. I forget what the park is called that's nearby. It's off Burton. Um, so I'm just gonna go drive up, point out the house, and maybe talk about some memories. The first memories that pop into my mind are my, you know, my dad was a chiropractor and he had this full-sized skeleton that stood up on a stand. And it, the basement was, my, my first nightmare, I think ever was of that basement and going down there and finding somebody and it was the guy from Short Circuit, um, the scientist dude, and it was just a freaky dream. The Bones, Mr. Bones was down there. I think he was Mr. Bones. It was like, it was a crazy, it was a weird kid dream, but yeah, I was like, went down, I saw Mr. Bones and then it turned into this, that guy and it was just a, I don't know why it was a nightmare, but it really freaked me out and I couldn't go down in the basement after that. It was really hard to anyway. Um, I remember my dad building a tree fort. I remember, yeah, enjoying the neighborhood and running around, playing, playing on this trike, little tricycle, plastic tricycle thing, and then getting my, I think I got my stepbrother's hand-me-down, which was a banana seat Schwinn, and that was the bike my dad taught me to ride on without training wheels, and we're gonna go drive right down that street out memory lane the original house then I'm gonna try and get one other e-bike spot we'll see though gotta do it before the rain gets here while the rain is holding off anyways stared up at that thing and it's a little I don't know why but that freaks me out a little bit having water that much water floating above my head for some reason is uh kind of freaks me out those toilet tanks that are way high above the uh those old style toilet tanks they're like six feet above the bowl it's kind of weird me out too anyway yeah that water tower I love seeing that water tower every now and then stopping by and there it is on the right, my old neighborhood. Gonna take a left though. Go over here by uh, Labor Ready, where I, my temp agency is. And this used to be, I believe, a Minute Mart. And my dad always took us up there, up here to get these chocolate mint things. And then over here is where I came uh, to um, some, well, I tried to get my GED here, over in this Clark College branch. Um, is this even a spot? They're like pre-learning classes so you could pass your test, but I never really got around to it, finishing all those. Uh, all right, there's that cool big old water tower. This big old parking lot this whole area this is my this is my home for the first parts of my life or this area it's my neighborhood so let's strap on the camera let's 
go cruise past the old house. All right, you guys. Get in one more ride before this rain starts. Yeah, lots of memories around here. Now, where to go? Where to go? Oh no, that wasn't the turn. It's up farther. Du Bois, Du Bois Park. Immediately, pure nostalgia. This house, I love it. These houses don't change ever. I love it, I love it. Even the smell is familiar, it's weird. I don't know what, how to explain it. The blue. That's a new house. So this was a park that we used to catch salamanders out of me and uh, my dad and family. Boy, they are uh, sure digging it up over there. Gosh, it's just, it's so great coming back. Oh, there it is. Gosh, that looks different. Yep, and there's my dad's garage and my first time riding a bike on it with training wheels anyway. It was just around in that little area. And then uh, when I finally rode an actual bike, a uh, big kid's bike, my dad was pushing me, pushing me down the street here. So that's it, that's my childhood house. There used to be a big old tree right there. So it's a little different, it's painted, uh, it's painted a darker color and there's some window shutters missing but that's it that's that same brick right there and the same uh, pillars there it is my old childhood house this guy got some solar <sighs> yep that's it right there that's my old home I knew these guys. There's some memories in that house. They had a cool basement full of everything. I had a whole bunch of stuff in their basement. But mostly I remember this piano that would automatically play with a sheet with holes out of it. So right now I'm kind of taking the ride I used to when I was a kid, pedaling around on my little scooter. These houses are all the same. And then from back here, if the tree house is still there, you'll be able to see it.
Oh, I drove past it. Oh well. I don't. I bet. I'll bet you. I'll bet you that's not there. Hank is right. It was back there. It's grown in pretty good from what I remember. Trees and stuff. But yeah, so there's from my house all the way around this little circle my parents would let me ride. And here I am, back. Let's go check out this park. Oh, this house. That hasn't changed. I don't know them, but yeah. So boy, yeah, they're changing up that park pretty good. That's different. Something's different, but like 98%, 95%, everything is just the way I left it. Very fond of this place. Actually, I want to go down and take like a left down there. Because there was somewhere else I used to explore. Me and my dad would come biking this way from time to time. I think it's just a turn around around here, you yeah. know. Yep, this old place. Very, very familiar. Boy, that's a big old house.
this place is so empty since they moved. It's like nothing here anymore. Uh, let's do a camera check. Still recording? Oh, come on, dude. Oh, good. I just can't see the little red light. I need to go back and make sure I left my phone in the RE. Pretty sure I did. It's not really something that can fall out too easy. Yeah, a lot of memories here. Standing in line for things. Oh man, this place is... It's deserted. Alright, let's go get back and make sure I didn't lose my phone. Keys. God, I love this thing. This is so much freaking fun, you guys. Hope I did not lose my phone, that would be very bad. Uh, nope, it's right there. Put that on my pocket for our emergencies. Okay, one quick cruise around the old, whatever this place is called. Town, the old town plaza here. Oh, call it good for this e-bike memory lane ride. Oops, left my key in the ignition. That's no good. This place is just done. Done, done, done. This didn't used to be all gated off. It's interesting. Employee parking, maybe? Yeah, this brings back such memories. This is, I think, where I used to come to. So me and my buddy used to come here trying to... Well, he probably got his GED. I just couldn't friggin' focus or sit still. But, uh, yeah. Lots of memories, lots of them. Oh, speed bumps. No speed bumps, I have no shocks. Oh, yes. What a lovely cruise, I'm having such a good time. Uh, let's, uh, let's not, let's not go around this way. I'm feeling good on that one. Good little ride. Mission accomplished.
All right, mission accomplished. Got one more place to do that to. Turn off my lights. Oh, I forgot to play with the horn a little bit there. Next trip. Stirs in my direction. <laughs> <laughs> 